Hello YouTube, family, friends, and subscribers. This is take seven, I think. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it said without being too long this time. You've probably seen the video of my 24 volt generator. It's got a 65 amp marine grade alternator. And I've got it driven by a six and a half horsepower Predator gasoline engine. The voltage regulator failed the other day. Uh, I know it did because it's putting out 57 volts. And it tripped my inverter because the inverter says the input voltage is too high. So it kicked off and that's when I noticed there was a problem. Several different things I'm doing wrong in my engineering. Number one, I'm asking way too much out of a, a car type alternator. The alternators that the military uses that have high amperage at 100% duty cycle, uh, they weigh 135, 137 pounds. This thing weighs 16 and a half pounds. So I'm way short of copper in spinning things. So the other thing I was doing wrong is even though it makes power at 1800 RPM, it cannot cool at low RPM. So I was running this one at 26. I could touch it with my hand, but not hold my hand on it. Well, that feels hot, but, you know, it's going to make some heat. 2600 RPM was not enough. I talked to a guy that rebuilds these things and uh, does custom work, so he's got a good handle on it, and he says these things really were designed to spin 6,000. He says it, they just won't cool. If you want max amperage out of it, not going to happen under 6,000 for very long. The other thing is, he says, a 10SI build, it's almost impossible to get more than 40 amps out of them because of the size of the stator. So, it really is probably a 40 or 45 amp, not a 65 amp as advertised. Probably they just put a larger bridge rectifier in it and said, see, there you go, you've got a more powerful alternator. So, this, this voltage regulator failed uh, for two reasons. One, I wasn't spinning it fast enough, and two, I was spinning it the wrong direction. An alternator will make power, doesn't matter which way you spin it. But these Delcos were designed to spin clockwise. And by spinning it clockwise, it's pulling air through this way. So the bridge rectifier at the back is the first thing to cool, and then the voltage regulator. I was spinning it counterclockwise. Now it was making power fine, but it wasn't cooling. So the thing that caused it to fail, even though it's under warranty, there's no reason for them to pay for it when it's my fault. I wasn't spinning it fast enough, and I was spinning it the wrong direction. So I will correct that. Uh, I will rectify that situation, pun intended, and put a new voltage regulator back in it, reorient it, and I will put the shiv interchange at 3 to 1, and then see how she likes to make power. $16 mistake and quite a bit of time and a lot of head scratching to figure out what I did wrong. So we'll correct that, and then uh, we'll get back to you. So when you look at my original build on the 24-volt generator, those videos... Don't do what I did. The shiv interchange is wrong. In other words, the ratio is wrong. I need to spin it much faster. And then the direction was wrong. It needs to go clockwise, not counterclockwise. Other than that, everything was fine. The way it was hooked up to the battery bank and everything worked just beautifully. And this is part of the off-grid learning curve. So, hope that helps somebody. Have a very blessed day.